According to several reports published on social networks, on October the 13th, 2024, an F-16 fighter jet operated by the Ukrainian Air Force shot down a Russian Su-34 fighter bomber. This victory, Ukraine's first in air-to-air -air combat using the F-16, was achieved with the advanced AIM-9X Sidewinder missile, known for its infrared homing and high maneuverability, writes Army recognition. The AIM-9X, widely regarded for its lethality, gives the F-16 a significant edge in dogfights able to engage enemy aircraft at high angles and within close-range combat scenarios. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is renowned for its versatile air-to-air -air combat capabilities, combining advanced avionics, radar systems, and an array of precision-guided missiles. One of its standout features is the AN-APD-66 radar, which allows it to track multiple targets simultaneously while providing enhanced dete detection range and precision. The F-16 can carry a range of air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-120 AMRAM for behind-visual-range engagements and the AIM-9X Sidewinder for close-range dogfighting. Thanks to its off-boresight capability, the AIM-9X's ability to lock onto targets from extreme angles makes it particularly lethal in close-quarters combat. This mix of radar-guided and infrared-guided weapons enables the F-16 to dominate in both long-range and short-range engagements. Compared to other contemporary fighting aircraft, such as Russia's Su-35 and MiG-31, the F-16 has certain advantages regarding agility and electronic warfare capabilities. While the Su-35 boasts superior long-range radar and missile systems, the F-16 compensates with its superior maneuverability and integrated electronic warfare systems like the Pylon Integrated Dispensing System, which deploys countermeasures to evade radar-guided threats. This agility, coupled with advanced helmet-mounted queuing systems that allow pilots to engage targets by simply looking at them, gives the F-16 a distinct advantage in close combat. The AIM-9X Sidewinder missile is a state-of-the-art air-to-air weapon that has revolutionized modern dogfighting. Its infrared guidance system allows it to detect and lock onto the heat signature of an enemy aircraft, typically from the engines, making it highly effective against fast-moving targets. What sets the AIM-9X apart from previous iterations is its high off-boresight capability. This means that the pilot doesn't need to be directly facing the enemy to fire. The missile can target and hit aircraft even at high, extreme angles relative to the jet's flight path. This off-boresight capability is paired with a helmet-mounted sight system enabling the pilot to simply look at a target to guide the missile. This feature drastically reduces the reaction time needed in close air engagements, a critical advantage when pilots maneuver at high speeds and in high threat environments. Moreover, the AIM-9X is known for its agility and ability to perform sharp turns, allowing it to stay locked onto highly agile enemy fighters. A Russian man was rescued in the stormy sea of Okhotsk after surviving for more than two months in a tiny inflatable boat that lost its engine, but his brother and nephew died, officials said Tuesday. The prosecutor's office in the far east of Russia said that the man was rescued Monday by a fishing vessel off the Kamchatka Peninsula. It didn't name the survivor, but Russian news reports identified him as 46-year-old Mikhail Pachujin who in early August set on a journey to watch whales in the Sea of Okhotsk together with his 49-year-old brother and 15-year-old nephew. Their bodies were reportedly found in the boat when the Angel fishing vessel rescued Pechujin. Media reports said the three men traveled to the Shantar Islands off the northwestern shore of the Sea of Okhotsk in early August. They went missing after setting off on their way back to Sakhalin Island on August 9. A rescue effort was launched but failed to locate them. Russian media reported that the trio had a small food ration and about 20 liters of water when their engine failed and they found themselves adrift. Pechujin weighed about 50 kilograms when he was found, having lost half of his body weight, news reports said. He didn't immediately say how he managed to survive in the Sea of Okhotsk, the coldest sea in East Asia and known for its gales, and how his brother and nephew died. When the crew of the fishing vessel spotted the tiny inflatable boat on their radar, they initially thought it was a buoy or a piece of junk, the Komsomolskia Pravda newspaper said, but they turned on the spotlight to make sure and were shocked to see Pechujin.
A video released by the prosecutor's office showed an emaciated man in a life jacket desperately shouting, come here. And the crew working to pull him back to safety. I have no strength left, Pichujin said as he was taken to safety. Prosecutors said that they launched an investigation into the incident on charges of violation of safety rules that resulted in deaths. По предварительной информации, 9 августа текущего года двое мужчин и 15-летний подросток, сын одного из них, на лодке катамаранного типа выдвинулись от мыса Перовского Николаевского района Хабаровского края в сторону Ахинского района Сахалинской области. Через какое-то время связь с ними была утеряна, местоположение судна оставалось неизвестным, проводились поисково-спасательные мероприятия. 14 октября около 22 часов в катамаран был обнаружен проходящим мимо рыболовным судном в акватории Охотского моря в районе села усть Камчатского края. Два человека погибли, один остался в живых, ему оказана первая медицинская помощь. 